Welcome to my channel! Learn with Teacher Ali! Quarter 4, Week 8, Day 1, Months of the Year Students, who can tell me the name of a month? What is your favorite month and why? Good job! Today, you will learn the 12 months of the year and arrange them in order. Here are some words that we could tackle during our lesson for today. But first, let us answer why do we need to know the months of the year? And now, let us read about Vilma's birthday countdown. Vilma sat by the window, watching the leaves fall from the trees. How many months until my birthday, Mama? She asked excitedly. Mama smiled. Well, let's count. It's September now, and your birthday is in June. Let's start. Vilma held up her fingers. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. She grinded. That's nine months. Her older sister Ashley laughed. That's a long wait, Vilma. Paul, their cousin, added. But think of all the fun things before then. Halloween, Christmas, Summer Vacation. Vilma sighed but then brightened. I'll count every month and get more excited each time. And so, every month, Vilma happily marked her calendar, knowing her special day was getting closer. Now, students, could you please answer the following questions? Now let's have a pair word. Identify the missing month in the sequence. Now let's have a group activity. Study the months of the year and answer the following questions. Students, what are the months of the year? Which month comes first? Which one is last? Can you tell me the month of your birthday? Here is an another activity. Arrange month flashcards in order and then complete the months of the year by writing the missing months.
remember to write the months in order. Day 2. Telling numbers of days for each month. Students, can you name the months of the year in order? Here are the months of the year, starting with January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and lastly, December. Today, we will learn about the 12 months of the year and how many days each month has. Here are some words that we could tackle during our lesson for today. But first, let us read about Jake's birthday countdown. Jake was excited. His birthday was coming soon and he wanted to plan a big celebration. He grabbed the family calendar from the kitchen wall and flipped through the pages. My birthday is in April, he said to himself. I need to check how many days are in April so I can count down. Jake looked at the small numbers at the bottom of the calendar page. April has 30 days, he exclaimed. That means I have to wait only 10 more days. To be sure, he decided to check the number of days in the other months too. He remembered a rhyme his teacher taught him. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except for February alone. Jake smiled. Now I know. April has 30 days, just like June, September, and November. With his calendar in hand, he marked the days left until his birthday. I can't wait, he said, imagining the fun he would have. Now, students, could you please answer the following questions? Now let us learn the knuckle trick, counting on knuckles for 31 day months and spaces for shorter months or the rhyme. Thirty days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have thirty one except for February alone. Sometimes, the name of the months are abbreviated as follows.
Now let's have a group activity. Read each clue aloud and guess the correct month. For clue number 1, this month has 28 days most years, but 29 days in a leap year. For clue number 2, this month is the start of a new year and is often cold in many countries. For clue number 3, this month has 31 days and is known for Halloween. For clue number 4, this month is the middle of the year and is when many students go back to school. And for the clue number 5, this month has 31 days and is known for Christmas season. Students, how many months are in a year? Which month is the shortest? And how can we remember the number of days in each month? Students, could you please encircle the letter of the correct answer? Look at the calendar at home and find the month of your birthday. Count how many days it has and write a short sentence about what you like about that month. Day 3. Solving problems involving months of the year. Students, could you please tell me what month is your birthday? What month is Christmas? And what comes after August? Today, we will learn how to solve problems involving months of the year using a calendar. Here are some words that you could tackle during our lesson for today. Rowena's birthday is in May. Her mom told her that in six months, she would receive a surprise gift. Rowena got excited and started counting the months. Can you help her find out which month she will get her surprise? If Rowena's birthday is in May, what month will it be after 6 months? What month comes after March? If today is September, what month was last month? If you go to the dentist every 6 months and your last visit was in April, when is your next visit? Now students, how many months are in a year? What month comes before August? And if your friend's birthday is in December, when is the next birthday? Now write the letter of the correct answer. Students, look at the calendar at home and find the month of your birthday is in, the month of a holiday you love, and a month where school closes for vacation. Day 4. 
Solving Problems Involving Months of the Year Students, what month is your mother's birthday? What month comes after March? And what month comes before September? Today, we will learn how to solve problems involving months of different years. You will be able to answer fun questions about months using a calendar. Here are some words that you could tackle during our lesson for today. But first, let us read about Jonalyn's mango tree. One sunny morning in February, Jonalyn excitedly planted a mango seed in her backyard. She carefully watered it every day and made sure it got enough sunlight. Her father smiled and said, If you take good care of your tree, it will start growing fruits in four months. Jonalyn thought for a moment. February, March, April, May. That means my mango tree will have fruit in June. She said happily. Now students, please answer the following question. Number one, if Jonalyn planted the tree in February, in which month did it bear fruit? Number 2. How many months are there between February and June? And number 3. If her father said it would take 5 months instead of 4, in which month would the tree bear fruit? Now let's have a group activity. Number 1. Ethan's birthday is in May. What is the month after his birthday? Number 2. Levi's school year starts in June. If the school year lasts for 10 months, in what month will it end? Number 3. Ava's family is going on a trip in September. How many months are left before the trip if today is May? Number 4. Liam's little sister was born in August. What is the month before her birthday? And lastly, number 5. Oliver started his swimming lessons in March. His lessons will last for 5 months. In what month will his lessons end? Students, how do we solve problems involving months? And what tool can help us count months correctly? Thank you for watching! Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to be updated on our latest videos. See you on our next lesson. Goodbye!